So beginning in our mountain pose position with the eyes closed, start to tune into your breath. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose, fill your belly with air. And as you exhale, feel the shoulders relaxing. So just using this breath throughout the practice. Just so you start to open the eyes, relax the arms down next to you. And on your inhale, reaching the hands up high. Make your body as long as possible. Take the palms together. Root down through the feet. And as you exhale, finding a gentle forward fold. So press the belly button onto the thighs, chest down to the knees. Rest your hands down onto the mat. And then finding a flat back position as you inhale, lift the chest. You can take the hands to the shins or the thighs. Try to roll your shoulders behind you. Try to straighten the legs as much as possible. And then as you exhale, releasing down, ground the hands and stepping back into our plank position. So we're going to hold you for five deep breaths. Try and spread your fingers wide. Try and make sure the shoulders are stacked over the wrists. You want to keep drawing the belly button in. Tuck your tailbone and keep pressing into the backs of the heels. On your next inhale, finding your downward dog to press your hips towards the ceiling. And we can bend your knees here. You want to focus on a long spine and then start to straighten the legs out. So make sure the feet are hip distance apart. You're pressing through the palms, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. And then just start to press the heels down one at a time. Finding a more stable downward dog. See if you can take both the heels down. And on your next inhale, finding three-legged dog. So draw the right heel towards the ceiling. Try to keep the hips level. And then bending the knee. We're going to find a low lunge. So draw the knee towards the chin. Start to rock forwards. And then grounding your right foot down between the hands. You can adjust your stance here. So if it's too short, just slide the left leg back. Otherwise, you can drop your left knee. Start to reach the arms up. And really start to press the hips forward. So you want to try and get into that left hip flexor. See if you can press your hips down towards the mat. And then start to draw the elbows out to the side. We're going to open the chest up. So squeezing the shoulder blades behind you. And let's find some movement here. So as you inhale, reaching the arms up. Take the palms towards each other. And as you exhale, drawing the elbows. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. And one more time. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, drawing the elbows down, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then relaxing the hands down onto the mat. You can twist open to the right side, so draw the right hand towards the ceiling, ground down through the left hand. And here, let's see if we can press the hips a little further forwards now. So on an exhale, start to press the hips towards the front of the mat. Keep twisting open to the right side. Maybe you guys up towards the right hand. And then as you exhale, release the hand down and stepping back into your plank position. So let's hold for five deep breaths. Draw your belly button in. Try and lift the chin. Make your spine as long as possible. Press into the backs of the heels. And on your exhale, coming to your downward dog. So press the hips nice and high. Start to press your heels down. If your legs are a little bit warmer now, see if you can straighten the legs out. And then as you inhale, taking the left leg nice and high for three-legged dog, keep the hips level. And then bending the knee, start to roll the knee towards the chin, grounding the foot down between the hands. Remember, you can adjust your stance here. So if it's too short, just slide the right leg back. And then lowering the knee down onto the mat to find your low lunge. You want to make sure that left thigh is parallel to the floor. Reach your arms up high. Make your body as long as possible. Start to press the hips forward. See if you can get into that right hip flexor. And just finding some movement here. So as you exhale, draw the elbows down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, drawing down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And inhale, reaching back up. And one more time, draw the elbows down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. 
and then taking the hands down to the mat. Let's twist open to the left side, so root down through your right hand, start to circle your left arm up towards the ceiling, remember to twist from the torso, and then slowly start to press the hips forwards, see if you can gaze up towards the left hand, and a few easy breaths. And then on your exhale, release the hand down, tuck the toes under, step back into your plank position, and finding your downward dog. So we're gonna flow through a warrior sequence now. As you inhale, take the right leg up high, start to bend the knee, slowly rolling the leg forwards. We're gonna find a high lunge position. So grounding the right foot down, take a nice wide stance. Inhale, reach the arms up. Try and make sure both the legs are active. Your right thigh is paddled to the mat. You're pressing to the back of the left heel. And you can take the palms together or keep the hands apart, whichever is more comfortable. Just focusing on the breath. And on your next exhale, open up to warrior two. So drop the left heel, open the arms out to the side. Your hips are open up to the long edge of the mat here. Press your palms in opposite directions. And coming to reverse warrior. So take the left hand onto the left leg. Keep your right knee bent. Start to reach the right arm over to the left side. And then taking the right forearm down to the thigh, reach your left arm over the front of the body, keep pressing into the outer edge of the left foot, trying to let the shoulder dip forward, you want to roll the ribcage up towards the ceiling, and then as you inhale, coming back up to your warrior two, and then circle the arms down, ground the hands, lift the left heel, and stepping back into your downward dog. And coming through the left side, so as you inhale, take the left leg nice and high, start to bend the knee, rolling the leg forwards, finding your high lunge warrior one. So reaching the arms up, keep the legs active, try and lengthen up through the spine, keep pressing into the back of the right heel, a few easy breaths. And then opening up to warrior two, drop the back heel, extend the arms out, make sure that thigh stays parallel to the floor, try and relax your shoulders here. And coming to reverse warrior, so let the right hand come down to the right leg, reach the left arm behind you, keep that front knee bent, keep the legs active. And then coming to extended side angle, so forearm to the left thigh, reach the right arm over, try not to put all the way in that front leg. You want to keep the torso nice and active, keep rolling the ribcage up towards the ceiling. Try and create a straight line of energy all the way from the back foot to the fingertips. And then coming back up into your warrior two, circling the hands down, lift your back heel, step back into your downward dog. And a few deep breaths here. We're going to flow through that one more time. So on your inhale, take your right leg into three-legged dog. Start to bend the knee and rolling forwards. Try and move with your breath here. So dropping the foot down, reach the arms up, finding warrior one high lunge. As you exhale, opening up to warrior two, drop your back heel, extend the arms out. And inhale, reverse warrior, left hand to the back thigh, reach the right arm over, keep your front knee bent and active. And as you exhale, coming to extended side angle, so forearm to the thigh, reach the left arm over, see if you can gaze up towards the roof. And you can either stay here, or if you want to come deeper, you can start to take the right hand down to the inside of the right leg, trying not to let the body fall forward, you want to keep rolling the ribcage up towards the ceiling, just focusing on your breath. And as you inhale, coming up to warrior two, and exhale, take the hands down, lift your back heel, step back into your downward dog, make sure the hips are high, you're pressing the heels down, try to draw the shoulders away from the ears, And coming through the left side, 
So as you inhale, draw the left leg nice and high, the three-legged dog, and then bending the knee, rolling forwards, move with your breath. Find your high lunge, warrior one position. Make sure that front thigh is parallel. As you reach the arms up, keep both your legs active, and exhale, open up into warrior two, drop the back heel, extend the arms, gazing over the left hand, and as you inhale, reverse warrior, so reach your left arm, over to the right side, keep your front knee bent, and then coming to extended side angle, so forearm to the thigh, reach your right arm up and over, keep pressing the outer edge of the back foot into the mat, and you're either staying here or coming deeper, so if you're coming deeper, take the left hand down, trying to let the shoulder come forwards, keep rolling the rib cage towards the ceiling, see if you can gaze up towards the roof, and then as you inhale, back up to warrior two, and circle the hands down, lift your back heel, and stepping back into your downward dog, and let's hold for a few deep breaths. So really press through the palms, keep drawing the belly button in, roll the shoulders away from the ears, And then on your exhale, slowly start to walk the feet towards the hands and just finding a gentle forward fold. So you can bend the knees or relax your upper body down. Take hold of the elbows here and just gently swing from side to side. Then releasing the hands down, start to bend the knees as you roll up to standing. So nice and slowly, reach your arms up high. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. And we're just going to come into tree pose, a balancing posture. So we're going to root down through the left foot. Let's draw the right heel up first. So start to draw your right foot up. Option one is to place the foot just below the knee. And option two is to draw the foot up a little bit higher so onto the thigh. Once the foot is there, you want to really press the thigh and the foot together so everything's nice and engaged. See if you can take your hands to heart center and just focusing on your breath and your balance. So let that right knee fall out to the side wherever's comfortable. And as you exhale, release your hands down, just gently taking the foot and drawing it back down onto your mat, coming through the left side. So root down through your right foot, start to draw the left heel up, either just below the knee or up onto the thigh, wherever's comfortable. And you want to really press the foot and thigh against each other, so make sure that right leg stays active, that your left knee fall out wherever it wants to go. And then taking the hands to heart center and a few deep breaths here. And then on your exhale, take the foot, releasing it down onto the mat. I'm just coming to a deeper fold now. So we're going to reach the arms up high. You can keep your feet hip distance apart. Try and make your spine as long as possible. And as you exhale, start to fold down. We're going to wrap the arms behind the legs here. So you want to take hold of the elbows. You can draw your feet closer together if it's more comfortable. And then slowly start to press the belly button down onto the thighs, chest towards the knees, forward to the shin. And see if you can shift the weight of the hips just over the heels. Each time you inhale, think about lengthening your spine. And each time you exhale, just sinking a little bit deeper. If the knees are bent, just start to work on straightening the legs out. And then slowly releasing the arms down. Take a deep inhale as you roll back up to standing. 
And just closing the eyes here, tuning into your breath. 